Is Tesla preparing to offer wireless EV charging? Hello guys, welcome back to EV Scene. Today we have the most recent Tesla news for you folks. Tesla plans to move EV charging toward a wireless future, but how far away from that comfortable future are we? Tesla is one of the most innovative companies in the automotive industry, and they're always looking for ways to revolutionize how we drive and charge our electric vehicles. Recently, they've been exploring the concept of wireless charging for their EVs, and the technology is getting closer to becoming a reality. Let us consider how an electric car may charge itself via thin air. You might be startled to find that wireless EV charging is not the future, but the present time. It is already here, and all that remains is to figure out how to incorporate this innovation into our transportation system's electrification. We're not just talking about a luxury item here. This goes beyond simply being able to park your car in your garage without plugging it in. It is important to understand that when discussing current generation wireless charging for EVs, we are not referring to the same mechanism that charges your phone and smartwatch. The wireless charging we're used to is known as electromagnetic induction. As anybody who's ever fought with a wireless charging pad knows, this technique demands extremely exact alignment between the smartphone and the charging pad and very close proximity. It's picky and it could be more efficient. If you're lucky, you'll receive nearly 80% energy transfer, likely less. The charging pad broadcasts its magnetic field out in all directions, making it omnidirectional. And if a receiving coil enters that magnetic field, the two can exchange energy. This is why electromagnetic induction is so limited. Because most of the induction is not going into the receiving coil, it can't be focused. So electromagnetic induction suffers at the hands of something called the inverse square law which means that energy reduces rapidly over distance, and that doesn't work for cars because they sit above the ground. You'd need a docking station with an elevated socket, and the car would have to properly align with it, much like how a Roomba connects to its charging station. Magnetic resonance charging is how we solve this. With this technology, both the pad and the receiver are tuned to resonate at a particular frequency. The energy may transfer more like a focused tunnel, resulting in a far more efficient transfer. Magnetic resonance provides charging efficiency compared to a hardwired connection from the grid to the car. Nikola Tesla was a well-known scientist who worked in the fields of electrical and mechanical engineering in modern times. People are more likely to think of the Californian firm of the same name, which is challenging traditional vehicle makers. Still, the connection to what we're talking about today goes back to his Tesla coil and the ability to send electricity wirelessly. With current generation home charging systems, it is around 92% efficient in transferring energy. It equates to about 11 kilowatts of charging power, equivalent to a Tesla wall unit. A startup named Ytricity is taking this technology forward. They offer a ready-to-use charging station and receiver that can be retrofitted into almost any electric car. The in-car device is roughly the size of a pizza box. According to the company, the cost is comparable to a typical plug-in charging system for electric vehicles. The home charging pad will be rather pricey, costing over $2,000 US to install. Additionally, this technology offers bi-directional energy transfer, which means that not only can the grid transmit electricity to the car wirelessly, but the car can also return power to the grid or the home. Now that you've got an idea of how wireless charging is done, let's look at what happened during the Investor Day presentation. Tesla finally hinted at a wireless inductive charging station in its Investor Day presentation on Wednesday. Tesla did not say when or whether the technology will be available to owners. While Tesla's senior director of charging infrastructure, Rebecca Tinucci, was winding up her presentation, a slide called Can't Forget to Do Cool Shit appeared. It was only visible briefly, but it may have been enough to show that Tesla is actively working on the technology. The slide showed a Model S parked in a garage with a huge mat beneath it and a box on the wall. The box is considered to be the power source and the mat is a charging pad. Surprisingly, the graphic depicts a freshly upgraded Model S vehicle. It would be interesting to see whether Tesla provides a retrofit for current customers and which cars will be compatible with a wireless charging mat. 
As Tinucci wrapped up her presentation, she concluded one more thing. Yes, we've got to scale our infrastructure. Yes, we want to power it via renewable sources, but we are Tesla. So we also want to make sure we are continuing to focus on providing really incredible charging experiences. She also admitted that she neglected to plug in her Tesla and that it would be a fantastic experience if her vehicle could charge itself. Many owners agree that the automatic charging system more than the wireless feature distinguishes this product. You'll never have to consider whether or not to plug in your vehicle, pull into your garage, and the car will decide when to charge. Indeed, safety is a concern. These systems have a safety feature that prevents anything from interfering with the process. I know what you're thinking, will my cat get zapped if it walks under my car? Not. Safety is always a top priority in the field of EVs. This wireless charging is also a necessary technological component for self-driving cars, and a more elegant method than Tesla's previous snake charger prototype. Why Tricity, one of the main businesses concentrating on inductive EV charging for passenger vehicles, declined to comment on whether the example presented with the Tesla is their technology or a licensed version of it. Nonetheless, the business has fitted wireless charging technology to a Tesla Model 3 and a Ford Mustang Mach-E for demonstration purposes. It is the only company that delivers the technology to a factory OEM application outside of China with the Genesis GV60 in its home market of South Korea. Tesla is one of many corporations that have prioritized technology in recent months. Stellantis's Ram Truck brand teased an inductive charging robot at CES in January, which might allow hands-free charging without parking in the same position daily. Wytricity anticipates a market turning point around 2025 or 2026 when a broader range of premium and then mass market vehicles will offer the technology as a feature or option. If Tesla extensively uses the technology around that time, it might drastically cut the cost of entry for the technology. A Y-Tricity survey performed last year among individuals who possess an EV or want to buy one within the next two years found support. Bi-directional wireless charging was ranked first among premium technology features, ahead of self-driving capabilities, premium auto, and park assist. More than 75% of those polled stated they would put wireless charging in their driveway or garage. While there have previously been several aftermarket entries for Tesla vehicles, the few thousand dollars for a pair of pads and accompanying components has been one of the obstacles up until now. Efficiency is important to Tesla owners, and it was a subject of the Investor Day presentation. Therefore, it's worth noting that Wytricity's technology gets 99% of the energy it delivers coil to coil, while its overall efficiency from the circuit box to the car battery is about 90 to 92%, roughly the same as conventional plug-in charging. Charge prices are the same to wire as well. The business said in June that their wireless charging system installed on the Model 3 provided roughly 10 kilowatts to the car, corresponding to about 48 miles of range per hour. The business then stated that their wireless charging was not limited to 11 kilowatts and that higher power versions were conceivable. And now that wireless charging technology has been tied to Tesla's future, expect it to appear on more option lists for EVs of all brands shortly. Tesla's wireless charging pad also has other advantages over traditional charging methods. For example, it is much easier to set up than plugging in a charger, and more convenient since it can be used anywhere. Additionally, Tesla's wireless charging system is more efficient, as it doesn't require the user to concern themselves with the current and voltage levels. Tesla's wireless charging pad is currently available in the U.S. with plans to expand to other countries soon. The cost of the pad varies depending on the model of the vehicle, but it is expected to cost around $500. The installation can cost up to $1,500. Tesla's wireless charging system is a great addition to the electric vehicle industry, making charging EVs more convenient and efficient. It is a sign of the future, as more and more companies are beginning to use wireless charging technology for their EVs. With that, we've come to the end of our video. Thank you for watching, and remember to give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Here's another amazing video you might enjoy. Click on the screen to watch it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already so you can stay up to date with more interesting facts about our world. Share this video with your friends and family. See you guys soon. Bye.